What's up everybody, it's Lids, and we're back for some more Hades, and last go round, we had a pretty successful run, we made it into Elysium, but I think, well, we can make it back there again, and hopefully, a little further this side. And Zeus was ultimately the one that saw an end to it. So, I do really like having the lightning stuff on our default attack. I think that is amazing, but I really wish it was rarer than just normal rarity. Whereas the dash, having the bolts there, might also be useful. I'm going to take a little bit of a chance here and use it on that. Oh, didn't see there. So at the moment, we are using the trinket that allows us oh, hello, allows us to go into chaos rooms without taking any damage. So we're still testing that out a little bit, and I think... Nope, oh, come on, come on, we can hit it. Are you serious? There we go. Uh, that was weird. But yeah, so still experimenting a little bit with seeing just how effective it can be. But I like it thus far. Do I like it as much as... Oh, more coins. Of coin there. Do I like it as much as Nyx's shawl? Probably not. But I wonder if we're strong enough that we're confident that we can take on the first floor without needing that, then maybe we deliberately we take it for the first floor. We kind of, well, we kind of need both of these things. Let me see. Uh, I guess we'll go this way. We kind of... Um, I lost my train of thought. If we could manage to complete the first floor without requiring the aid of Nyx's shawl, or the lucky tooth for that matter, then we can potentially get the long-term benefit from a different keepsake that might give us other bonuses that could carry over into the final room or, well, floor or floors. Elysium, maybe even Asphodel to a certain extent might be helpful. Basically, my point is, we may not need the extra life while we're still in Tartarus. Whereas, we could then switch over to it. Dude, that was silly damage to take. Could then switch over into one of those life-centric keepsakes later on. Once we do get into Asphodel or Elysium. Helps when you know what to look for in that regard. I thought I was going to be able to hit you before you hit us, but I miss. Definitely something else over here. Maybe I just saw the locked icon or notice down here when I walked past one of these places. Okay, so. I noticed that we have a lot of coins, so I think we take this route. We go for the shop. Kira must be nearby. And at Hermes, we can actually oh just barely can't afford both of these things. That stinks. I think we take Hermes though. Maybe they're looking at the right thing though. Think I am? Yes. Okay. You dash one more time in a row, you move 20% faster, you have a 15% chance to dodge. I mean, all these are useful. I wish, again, that they were slightly higher rank. I'll take the dodge. Oh, what am I saying? Okay, I can't map. I can do that too. It's off by 100. Oh, we can get more max life out of this as well. And there's the chaos room that we've been. I wonder if we might have missed one. I just didn't notice. This does seem like it has taken us longer than usual to find one of these rooms. Ooh, I meant to dash, but I was slow. That one was just me not paying attention. Weak. Yeah. 
definitely took some unneeded damage there, but that's a relief. 150 life is good. And remember, we can do this without taking any damage. Shiny. And also, get some free coins. Going in. So yeah, I think 150 life is quite high relative to what we've had at times for this fight. For this boss. Whichever one it will be. Okay. Does that mean you have something nice for us? Ooh. Ooh, man. Some of these are very good. Most of these are very good. I mean, 61% increased damage is huge. That's a lot for the Chaos upgrade. If we were using Nyx's Shawl, then this would be fantastic to have this stockpiled up. And even this helps us be much more aggressive in the shop, so I love all the rewards here. And even the downsides are not that bad. But I think on this occasion, when in doubt, take the one that is significantly rarer than the others. And this presumably would be Sisyphus. We don't really need healing. We could get coins. We don't really need darkness. I guess we'll take coins. This seems like this may not be the best example of a time when uh, he is particularly helpful for us. Hey, Prince, how goes the old escape plan? Any luck? You know, it's been all right, all things considered. Dying now and then, and it's been hard, but hey, what can you do? Oh, well, just dying every now and again. Me? Why, I quit trying to get out of here a while back. But if I was a fire-stepping youngster like yourself, perhaps I would have stuck to it. Okay. So yeah, we can do the healing, but we don't really need it. We're just 12 off of our total HP. Darkness, I mean, it is useful, don't get me wrong, but we have a pretty large stockpile, and we don't have that Nyx's uh, coat that gives us the life when we get this, so I think... Just take the Here coins. Thank you, mate. Take care. Which is okay, but maybe not fantastic. Whoa! I've never seen these guys before. Certainly not on this floor. What? No, we just flat out never seen these guys. Alright, some armor down. Still have a life pool. Try to get this one because it's weaker. Okay, you have one down. Whoa! I did not see that you were doing two attacks in quick succession there. I don't like that you're hiding in this corner where I cannot see you are winding up for attack. Now we can give you more of a stun though. It does help a lot because apparently you're not going to attack us anymore. All right, what you get. What do you have for us, Dionysus? Let me tell you something. I, I know your dad. He's got to be a real handful. I relate to that. You understand me, mate? So you get out of there, and you'll be more than welcome here with us. Thank you. Ooh. Okay. Bunch of rare stuff. We have Dionysus's aid. Now, this is one of the ones where, on a previous run, I. Maybe got a little too ambitious and thought, well, we can pass this up. Look for a better aid that works more with our strategy, which tends to be save the aid for the boss fights, and when we do have it, run straight in for some damage. And that's not entirely what this does. Looks like it's more of a clear room full of lots of enemies type of aid. So... I think I almost prefer this. I know this is epic, whereas this is just rare. I think to Feast. get a pretty solid defensive boost is not bad. Especially when, uh, well, we have the Chaos Damage upgrade it's supposed to take effect. Pretty soon, if not already. More where that came from, though. A lot more where that came from. Alright. Not 
sure if we got it there. On my authority. The one that was close. Bro, for darkness. I mean... Yeah. It's not a huge benefit for it, at least not short term, but... Give it a go. You really Why not? You can get out of here? Maybe we can. I think you're the last one. There we go. I don't believe we took any damage. So, for that reason, can't complain. Mind. Mind darkness. darkness is certainly a lot. And then the question of, do we upgrade things that we have, or do we go for the weapon upgrade? I think we go for the weapon upgrade, because that tends to be more valuable. Not the best of positioning there. And I dash into that one. Fantastic strategy. There we go. Four? Somewhere. There you are. Two, in fact. What do we have? Your special is replaced by shot. Deals 60 damage in an area. Hold attack to strike rapidly instead of spin. Uh... We'll give it a go. But I, can get. I have tried it before, and I am a big fan of the spin. So I'm reluctant. I will do it. I have a good amount of coins for this. We might be able to do... A lot of stuff. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna have a lot of short-term upgrades here. Mostly just this. I can use this. And we can upgrade our damage resistance or the damage on our dash. And neither one is really wowing me. I mean, percentage-wise, this actually looks like this is a higher percentage of an upgrade than this is. Maybe for that reason, we actually do take this. But this is overall more powerful. Yeah, let's go with this. They must have lots of these upon Olympus. And then, do we purchase these things now that we don't really need? On the chance that we do not make it out of this boss fight? Or do we instead save it up? I think we saved it up. That looks like a special base. It wasn't me. It is. Five coins, does that change anything? I don't think so. Time for Tiffany, maybe. No. Oh well. Meg. <laughs> Tell me something, Zag, because I'm curious. Do your Olympian relatives know the real reason you've been trying to escape? I'll um, get around to that in due time. They're family. They'll understand, no doubt. You're in over your head, you idiot. Maybe, maybe. Not. What bonds are left between Lord Hades and those ingrates on Olympus? That sounds like someone who's just a little jealous because she is not the daughter of a god or goddess. Okay, that admittedly I just stood right in the middle of. Not me to get hit from, but I did. Maybe I will. I stood right in the middle of that. This is impervious. Trying to use our uh, charge up for quick attack more often here. Ooh. It's not my best move, though. No big deal. Does seem like it can do a lot of damage to a single enemy. I did it. My 
chaos boom evolved a new effect. Sure. Trying to remember what that chaos effect was. Was that a damage one? Did a lot of good things from the most recent chaos, but Seems I don't remember the what we failed did. to do her job. Full HP. Alright, so now what I was getting at before is we picked up some chaos stuff early, allowed us to be a little more aggressive on the first floor. Do we now opt for a more defensive approach in the latter areas and do something like take the Black Shawl or maybe the Lucky Tooth? I think maybe best to save the Lucky Tooth for Elysium. If not, the Black Shawl. Basically, I just don't think the Lucky Tooth is best in Asphodel. Uh, let's try holding on to the Cosmic Egg for one more round, one more floor. And then afterward, we'll see if we want to try to switch into the Black Shawl, which I think is what we did last time. Or alternatively, potentially the Lucky Tooth, because it might be that we won't get enough darkness on the final floor for this to pay out, whereas... Comparatively, this might be more light. We'll see. Been a little ahead of ourselves here. In the shop. I don't think we have a, an immediate need for any of those things. I see you talking. On to Aspinel. Let's see what we have. We're just heading straight over. I like Hermes. We do have one of his boons already. Granted, not a fantastic one, but now let's be reasonable. No less. Uh oh. Not this guy. It's just a normal one. Not one of the armored ones, but there's gonna be more where that came from. Sure. More of these guys. Was that hmm. really necessary? Didn't get hit, so that's good. Hey, uh, could you do a little favor for me, cuz? My brothers, sisters, family, and whatnot, they're unaware I'm working with you here. It's no big <laughs> deal, but let's keep it that way for now. Alright? Sure thing. Special is faster. Cast is faster. You move faster. Let's go with the moves. I'm not super thrilled about any of those. I do like a lot of the things that Hermes has, but it just seems like we've gotten a little unlucky there. Now, this is interesting. We have full life. Do we have any reason to do this? There might still be the chance for them to drop coins, but I thought I noticed on at least one previous occasion that enemies from the Troves did not drop them. Maybe that was just a coincidence, or maybe I got my numbers wrong there, but I think I'm gonna skip this one. And instead, Go for coins? We do have a fair amount here. I think we actually go for coins because the next shop we go to, we will be able to purchase, assuming we're successful here, more than just one thing. Tremendous. Should make it more valuable than just an upgrade room. Right, I was planning to do the spin there, only to realize that I do not have it anymore. Took damage from a little projectile or a little bomb that he left on the ground when he died, which I kind of forgot about. I also did not see that you were there. Alright, that was a little sloppy in that room. Use the life now. Anything of note here. Not that I'm seeing. E room, darkness room. Don't love either option, to be honest with you. Neither one is particularly helpful in the short term. I think we take this, though. These are what's holding us back on the upgrades, not the darkness at the moment. Ooh, that hit us. Alright, who's next? Stop running! We are dealing a lot of damage, though. That much is definitely the case. Blow up on those guys, please. 
Just don't step in the fire, please. Yeah, because we have... Uh, hard to see there. We have the Chaos Boon that gave us some damage. I think there was one of those. And then we also have... Oh, two keys there. Not just one. Whoa! Hello. Where'd that come from? Else of no? I think so. Alright, so here's a shop with well, we are just shy of potentially being able to afford some extra special stuff, but we'll see. We need uh, to have three be in which case we may search for no urns permitted in this chamber. Something like that. Is that going to be relevant? No, it isn't. But picked it up anyway. the inventories of that most disturbing river boatman. <laughs> that means you win my blessing. Everyone takes Nox at Karan. He's not so bad. Oh, only normal rarity? Ah. Alright, Nox goes away is a little bit helpful in Asphodel because it does mean you can knock some enemies into the fire. However, for the boss fight, it's not super meaningful because bosses levitate, so they don't take any fire damage from doing that, I don't think. So, yeah, it's okay. I mean, I'll take it mostly for the damage. For other reasons, or for the other effects, not so great after all. Okay, I was not sure if we were all the way to the boss just yet. It seemed a little early, and it does appear as though still have another room. So that's probably good. Give us the chance to get a little more powerful first. Uh, not if it's one of these, though. This is not good. Not sure if the, uh, if the quick attack is going to be beneficial in this case. Might be a difference maker. Might not. Okay, we got rid of you. That's one of the keys. Now we can just deal with you. And you are dead. Okay, that was Aries. one of the best times we've done against those guys. They are tough. Let's see. It's a lot of talk. You have. A good dash. After slaying a foe, attack and special deals a lot more damage. Not that good for a boss fight. However, there are a few normal enemies that do appear in the upcoming boss fight, at least. And once we get into the more standard encounters after that, then of course it will be very helpful. But. Hmm. Oh, wait. There's no time limit here. I was expecting this to say, or assuming that this said, after slaying a foe, oh, your next attack in special, or special, deals more damage. Okay, hold on. Closer read, not as good as I thought it was. I read it, initially, that uh, after you kill an enemy, for the rest of that room, I was assuming, you got this pretty big damage boost, but that is clearly not the case. So, in that case, I think we might actually want to do the swap. The Thunder Dash is decent, but I think an epic play dash is going to prove superior. Oh! Got two points from that? What? Don't know how or why. I mean, we broke something, sure, but... Okay. This is probably going to be the last room. I'll spike. Hey. Nope, it is not. There are enemies in here, including this guy. There's gonna be more where that came from. I got greedy there. Wanted to finish off the who. So I stood there a little longer than I ought to have. This is where knockback is helpful. 
As you can see there, we did knock those guys into the lava. Next. Ooh, I should have seen that one coming. Okay, so I'm gonna... Oh, I was gonna say, deliberately leave you there. And hope the fire will take care of you, but that is clearly not going to finish you off. In fact, you are quite mobile. Ooh, almost didn't see that. That's not where I want to be standing. That is a very mean place to put that. Did get it. Here's a trove here. Darkness is not really what I'm looking for at the moment. There were a shop. There's a shop over there. 99 coins, are you serious? If we could get one coin, we could purchase an upgrade. Could get not a maximum life upgrade, but but at least more life. And this is a maximum life upgrade. Uh, I think we go this route because I'm guessing this might actually be a chamber, given how I think this is going to be the first or the last room for the boss fight, which means no enemies. I think. Sort of. No enemies, yes, but unfortunately, we also did not get a life chamber. So, this is the boss. Yikes. Uh, would have liked to have had a little more than just 126 HP coming into this. I don't even remember. Did we have a call? I know we had the option of taking one. We might have opted not to do it. Here. I was hoping that blade would get you. Apparently not. Ooh, not where I want to be standing. Alright, also standing in the fire. Also, a little silly. Yeah, I think it's partially the angle of this boss arena. It's just totally different. Ow. From any other. It messes with my perspective a okay? bit. That was not what we wanted to do there. Bring your friends? Yeah, you are. Great either. All right, one down. Standing in the fire again for good measure. Remember, we have the multi attack. I forgot about it. Might be able to take down some of these guys a little more easily using that. Ow, I forgot about this phase though. Get it by that. That's silly damage. Now, should we bring more friends? I think. At some point. Yup. Ow. Ooh, sit in the fire again and walk straight into that. That was not good. We are running out of HP here. Which, I mean, a large portion of that is self-inflicted. And that portion continues to grow. Alright, you're down. We don't have call meter. Really hurts our chances here. Oh, I'm standing in the fire again! Where am I? <laughs> Losing track of myself. Oh, that should not count as fire. There's a the little bridge there. Alright, next hit kills us. Yeah. That was certainly poor execution on my part there. Got stuck in the fire far too many times trying to attack the sub 
Hydra heads. I hate that Hydra. Yeah. We've done better in the past. Oh, not often we see Mega Ruger. Would you look at that, Hypnos? Care to repeat to me the unsolicited advice you just now offered, now that Zagreus is here? Oh, go on. Oh, <laughs> well, it is my custom to give pointers to our visitors who come in voluntarily because I do pick up a lot of bits and pieces talking here to everyone about, you know, dying. Go on. Zagreus, he told me that I ought to evade more of your attacks next time. So you just watch your back out there because I know your secrets thanks to Hypnos here. Oh. Is that actually a thing? Is she actually going to be more elusive next to go round? Great. I Grown don't any wiser yet. Oh, how much to read into that? To suffer such indignity from my own kin. Don't know. I mean, there are many of these that we have not looked at, but I'm not sure why we saw that happen after having just had a very short discussion. Hades. Um, Achilles, sir. There's something I've been wondering about your codex. The words are yours, and yet it's through my actions that I'm able to absorb them. Is that how mortal scriptures always work? Ah. You have to understand, lad. I've been here in your father's realm for quite some time. My documented learnings became bound to me, much like the spear, you see. You can undo those bindings over time. Thus, my knowledge can be yours, whatever it amounts to. Hmm. Okay. I see. I think. I'm grateful for it, sir. Okay. Hey, Prince, I fed Cerberus already. All three heads. Thank you. I think. Moaning and groaning. All right, we don't have 200 gems, which is the big thing we were saving up for. And it's going to continue to tempt us with the urns of greater value. I still say nay. There are too many horses around now. Uh, I still think we ought to see if we can save up to 200. Go. It may take us a little Fulfill while. Fulfill your purpose, child. Five keys. Well, we need twelve to unlock the big ones at least. I know we can do boiling blood, but I'm not thrilled with this upgrade here. So I would like to get the chance to do one of these. We are a little ways away from that though. We'll just have to target keys a little more aggressively in our future runs. You know something, Broyo? I think you could do a real number on one of these columns holding up this place and bring the whole thing down in just a few swipes. Boom, boom, boom. And hate to be standing near one of them if you did. Wreck my father's finely crafted architecture every chance I get. That I can do for sure. <laughs> yeah, so we have seen the ability to break some of those structures, but I don't have a great sense as to what the primary purpose of that is other than breaking cover. I do see that sometimes maybe it falls and deals damage, but it seems too hard to predict to rely on it. For their mistakes in life, the wretched shades of Tartarus are bound to me in death. However, hatefully, they answer to me, quite unlike you. But we're not bound to Tartarus. You got that right. All right, so I think that's going to do it for this one. Uh, we made it to the Hydra, which, granted, the execution wasn't great once we made it there, but that's right more or less at our threshold for determining good run, not so good run. We'll see if we can do better th th in the next time. You know, probably can take him down more reliably, but we'll see. So I'll see you in the next one.